Hey there everyone. I just wanted to start another video to show an overview of what I'm what I have out here in my garden and to let you know what it looks like. Uh, as you can see there's still quite a bit of snow here in the main garden. I have it set up into three distinct areas. Uh, the first one here was a raised bed garden in uh, bordered with lumber but last year after six or seven years the wood finally rotted out and I now ripped all that old wood out and we're going to go with borderless raised beds and this is where I generally have all of my annual vegetables growing and a little bit further on there's a uh, row of blackberries and raspberries that have been set up and they've been producing for the last six years. Further down the field there's a section that I am converting into another set of garden beds. They're going to be uh, just planted in the ground, maybe slightly raised up if I can get enough compost to put on there, but it's a work in progress. I've started some beds off on one side there and you can see the kind of the progression that we're going with. So right next to that uh, I've got the area covered over with cardboard and that was done last year and been overwintering that way. And I'm going to have to get some more cardboard to finish covering that up. And then beside that you see grass and again I'm going to have to get some more cardboard then I'm going to cover it over with tarps to kind of smother the grass out. And eventually I'm going to get leaves to cover over the cardboard. And probably this year if I, have, if I can get that done I'm probably just going to uh, dig out some holes and plop in some uh, squash or other vining crops and try to take use of that space this year while the grass underneath decomposes. And finally beyond that there's a small fruit orchard. Mostly small fruits such as hascap, blueberries, currants, I got some grapes, um, and then I also have strawberries and some rhubarb back there. And again, that's still a work in progress. So that's it for the three areas of my garden and pretty much what it looks like. And I got, so, I got some compost bins way over there. And again, a couple more fruit beds like rhubarb and strawberries over on the far side. And so far, that's what my garden looks like. Now there's one thing about kale that I haven't heard too many people talk about and that is overwintering kale for next year's harvest. So what most people say they can do, and I believe it, is you can overwinter kale and, and if this, you've got a good snowfall it's insulated and you can start harvesting kale late in December if you wanted to. Now remember I'm in zone 4 so eventually it gets cold enough that even kale won't survive and it'll just die. Uh, but the roots will survive and from those roots uh, and the leaf stalk or the original stem stalk new kale leaflets will start forming and they will eventually form the flower heads and finally the seeds that you can harvest for for, uh, for future planting. But when those leaf stalks start growing they are very tasty. They're just like young kale uh, that you can just pick over and over again. Uh, and it's, say it's mid-April right now. In about a month, I'll start seeing new growth on here. And about a couple weeks after that, I'll start, be, start being able to pick fresh kale. So problem I have is deer and they love kale and as you can see there's some damage on the ends of these tips here so that's not a big deal eventually I'm just gonna cut the tops off and from the rest of that stem should start growing new kale but it's one of those crops that you can overwinter and then you can continue to harvest and eat kale all through the second year eventually letting the flowers uh, pollinate and turn the seed and you can get so much seed that uh, you'd never use it in the garden so you can also start grow using that to grow your own microgreens during the winter time 
So there's plenty more uses for kale than just the one year's growth and hopefully being able to get a harvest in the winter time is just continue to let it grow in the second year and you can have a second harvest second year all year long. Here I have a few beds of uh, perennials that I've established. Uh, mostly it's going to be herbs but I also have green sorrel and if I take a step forward here you can already see that the snow just melted two days ago and underneath that the sorrel has already been coming up and growing and there's some deer damage so the deer have been through here already helping themselves out to a springtime snack so I'm gonna have to get these all covered up again and protect it so the deer don't get them but I said even with the snow on there they already started springing out new leafy growth and about a week I can start picking some of this stuff for my salad and it's just one of those perennials that comes up uh, right at the beginning of the year even underneath the snow and you can start harvesting it first thing in the springtime when there's pretty much nothing else out in the garden literally nothing else growing Especially not there. Soon. Not yet. <laughs>